I have to say, first of all, as a parent myself, my heart really goes out to both of you guys. I can't imagine what you've been going through over the last several years. You know, I want to talk to you a little bit about working on a movie that was highly anticipated, so high profile, and then dealing with such a very personal tragedy and making the decision to step away from that. What was that like for you? What was going through your mind at that time? It was a difficult time for us. And, um, you know, frankly, you know, these kind of things happen to people uh, and, you know, it really makes you evaluate like kind of what you're doing and like what, what means stuff and what, what has value in your life. And it just, you know, your priorities get a little bit, you know, kind of you have to reevaluate them. And, and I think that we as a family just were like, this is ludicrous what, what's happening right now. So we, we made that decision and it's it, in retrospect, you know, it seemed like, and it seems like now uh, the thing that we did the right thing. I made a promise to him on his grave. I need to bring us together. Why now in the timing of the release of this? What is it about right now that you guys felt like, you know what, we need to just revisit this and re-release this? Well, if it wasn't for the fans, I don't think we would be here today. I mean, I've seen nothing like it for them to come together as a community and like have their voices heard by a big corporation. Like it's, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing and pretty historical with HBO Max being in existence because it wasn't at the time that we actually made the film. It allowed a four hour movie to be possible. And I think for us, it, it's a cathartic journey, you know, be able to finish something that we set out to do, you know, something that we never thought would happen. One of the things that struck me was truly the character development that we didn't get to see in the other version. You know, we really wanted um, Cyborg, frankly, to be the heart of the movie and to be really the, the why of it. He's a super important character. He, he's an important character in the DC universe. And... You know, in a lot of ways, he, he reflects a personal journey that so many people have been on, whether they've been maybe undervalued or they've been, you know, um, they don't know their place in the world and they're trying to figure out what they what they are, what they mean. His own catharsis and his own, like, um, ending where he finds a family and realizes he's a whole person and that he's connected to the world again. And, and that that really was, for me, like a really, to put that back, was the most important thing. I love that you said that because after we watched it, my husband and I were like, this was Cyborg's movie. Like it was so clearly intended to be that way. So I think that absolutely came across. The time is now. <laughs> 